This is strictly retaliatory. There's no question uh, about it uh, in my mind. Uh, Police Commissioner Kelly at one point uh, went out to Newsday to complain about my coverage. And he, um, he never, never complained to me. And um, apparently he intimidated the editors because they never specifically told me what it was that he was complaining about. But the fact that a police commissioner would go to a, a newspaper office um, without first talking to the, making his complaint directly to the reporter, I think is uh, an, a gesture of uh, intended intimidation. I've never heard of the New York City of a police commissioner ever doing this before. And do you have any interest then, is part of one of the reasons why you reached out to the New York Civil Liberties Union because you'd like to see, you know, other journalists and, and other online writers, other bloggers have access to these same meetings or? Well, no, it's larger than that. I mean, the police department has systemically denied uh, all kinds of people legitimate police documents that the public should be aware of. And the Civil Liberties Union is, is really uh, very good about that. I mean, they're a true freedom of speech uh, operation. I think that the documents are going to show that the police department has issued press passes to all kinds of people who, um, by their own so-called standards, they shouldn't have issued press passes to, especially since they're not issuing one to me, uh, somebody who was actually uh, in need and genuinely uh, deserving of a press pass. And it's going to embarrass them, and uh, that's why they don't want this uh, that's why they don't want to release this. Tell us a little bit about why you, why this is so why you need your press pass. Why is this so important to your work? Well, um, I was a um, reporter and columnist for Newsday, covering the police department for more than ten years, and um, I wrote a column called One Police Plaza, which I'm con I've continued since uh, leaving Newsday, uh, but I'm doing it on my own, and I need the press pass to. Uh, do my work to be effective, especially to get into courtrooms where trials are going on. I, I've had a press pass since I was reporting for New York Newsday since 1983. Without a press pass, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, for me to get into the courtroom. You know, it just makes it more difficult. It makes it more difficult with my trying to get into police plaza. It's pathetic. Pathetic of the police department that they uh, feel they have to do this.